you join Wilma and myself on another snowy little adventure down along the canal. This is just outside Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. It's one of our regular walks. Uh, there she is in her jacket down there. Okay, good girl. There she is. All freshly cleaned up yesterday at the groomers. Nice little coat on. Go on then. Go on. Good girl. And this is a uh, Sunday morning. It's a nice snowy walk. Um, got a few little errands to do today. But first thing to do is uh, take the dog out. Um, what we're going to do right now is one of our sort of regular walks, I try and do it once every couple of weeks, this walk is a three mile circuit. Um, come on. Um, which Wilma likes, she gets a lot of time off the lead on this walk, which is really good for her. Um, there's not too many road crossings etc, things like that. So it's a nice one for her to be on. Um, I'm togged up fairly well today. Got uh, quite a lot of cycling kit on actually, but my nice hat, which I bought from a random, uh, random shop some time ago. I never ever have the ear flaps down, but uh, I'm glad of them today. Cycling jacket, very very plastic wellies, and just some. Uh, double thickness tracksuit bottoms which is actually keeping me very nice and warm so it just goes to show you don't need to be using high tech kit all the time you can just come out and enjoy yourself it's a nice canal boat So, come with us on our walk. So we're a bit further along on our walk now. Um, just broke off from the canal and uh, we've struck out across the fields. Uh, in the distance, um, oh, I can't even see it on here, I think about there is the uh, canal bridge. We came over that. So we've walked along, walked along by that line of trees there, that's the line of the canal there. And then we came over the bridge, which is somewhere there. Um, and then across past the, there's a couple of fishing lakes here, here and here. Across there, and then back along this track to this gateway. Wilm was absolutely loving the snow, as you can tell. Uh, there's a couple of people over at the fishing lakes there, just having a bit of a wander around. We're now heading off, just come to this field boundary. We're heading off along this field edge here. A couple of things that I've got to do today. It's a bit of a confession here. Um, I'm not much of a prepper. As I say, I'm new to this prepping. I've got a big stock of firewood, um, but it's at my yard where my van is parked up. I mean, I've been using the bicycle the last few days in the snow around about town and stuff like that because. Being a gardener, I'm not doing much work in this weather. Um, I've probably got about two days worth of wood for the fire left at home. Um, after that, I would have to go purchase some. So, um, depending on the conditions later, the road conditions later, I might take the bike out over to the yard and pick up a supply of wood because I reckon I can get another couple of days worth of uh, wood on the bicycle um, fairly easily but if the roads are silly I don't really want to be driving the, the van about if I can avoid it um, you know if I come off the bike it's minimal minimal 
cost damage um, and uh, you know it's all slow speed stuff whereas if I slide into something in the van it becomes insurance claims it becomes a lot more difficult um, obviously you have to be ultra careful when there are cars about if you're on a bike in the snow because the last thing you want to do is fall fall off it right in front of a car which is then automatically the driver of which will automatically stamp on their brakes as a natural reaction as anybody would and then probably slide into you um, but generally speaking and I've got quite a lot of experience of riding in the snow um, generally speaking it works quite well you just you do have to be incredibly careful and just go go steady but then as I discovered coming home from work the other day um, any cars that came past me were literally doing about probably about four miles an hour faster than I was going if the road was straight and whether or not it had snow on it if my path across the road was straight and the camber of the road wasn't too bad for me to worry about and I was doing somewhere between 11 and 15 16 miles an hour um, and the cars were at best doing 20 even the four-wheel drives the sensible ones anyway um, and I do take very very minor roads which attract very little traffic because of course people are scared of getting stuck so they tend to stick to the main road unless they happen to live down the road that you're cycling down so um, yeah, I may well be making a trip out on the bike later on today. But exercise the dog, get the dog walking, and she'll quite happily sleep at the house. And I can go out hunting firewood. Wilma, come say hello. There's uh, Wilma demonstrating nicely the power of four paw drive. And this little section of road. Pull it me along quite happily. <laughs> right, well, you go, Gully. And normally, on this section of road, if we're walking like this. I would have been run over, <laughs> well, we would have been run over, about four times over by now. Okay, so we're we're off the road again. Um, it's just a short, that's a couple of hundred metres of road, um, which is never pleasant to walk. But of course today it was lovely because just very few cars about and the. The three that have, or two that came past us while we we're on the road, one's just gone past now, um, were very slow, very quiet, and gave us plenty of space, which was lovely. Um, so, yeah, we're just heading out into the uh, fields again. So, Wilma will get another chance to be off the lead. One thing I know about this dog is she is absolutely useless around roads. Um, she has no respect for traffic at all but then um, she's got a tiny brain so it's not really surprising it's a good girl <laughs> 